Bihar in India's Ganges Plain. In many of these poor rural areas, little has changed in decades. Electricity has been slow to arrive here. Candles and kerosene lamps are the only source of light. But in these straw homes, that means there's a constant threat of fire. But change is coming. Local power generating plants and distribution systems, each supplying about 500 households, are opening up at a rapid rate. Husk Power Systems was founded by Gayanesh Pandey. We set up a couple of plants and we figured that out. Once we got the technology working, we basically started working on the exact business model, the pricing and everything. The system is village scale. The plants and overhead cables can be set up quickly and cheaply. When you form a, one big station and you put out one big grid, then it just becomes a complex operation. The way to provide electricity to rural areas has to be through a small organization. The fuel for the power plants is a plentiful resource in Bihar. Rice husk. The farmers bring their rice to the millers, where the grain and the husk are separated. The farmers take away the grain. The husk is now collected and sold to husk power systems. It's a handy boost to the miller's incomes. The electricity produced is almost zero carbon, because otherwise the rice husk would simply have rotted, producing CO2. This is where we put the husk into the gasifier. The gas from the burning process feeds through these pipes and is cleaned by the filters. It eventually reaches the engine where the gas is used to generate electricity. Husk Power Systems insists on rigorous health and safety procedures for their staff. The machinery is checked on a daily basis. Regular maintenance is vital to ensure a reliable supply of electricity to their customers. Data on every plant's performance is collected and sent to head office. The voltage and current can be monitored on the company's website. Fees are collected from customers each month and any faults can be checked at the same time. Customers are trained to use electricity and have to sign an agreement saying they will follow safety rules. Now, when a power plant starts up in the afternoon, people's lives are transformed. Manish is enjoying the benefits it has brought to his family. Now I feel elated when I see my kids studying at night. I used to struggle to see what on earth I was reading when it was just a lantern. Another good thing is that snakes are frightened away by the light, so bites are much rarer. Before electricity, we used to go 20 kilometers just to recharge our mobiles and it cost 15 to 20 rupees. Where power plants have started up, new shops and businesses have quickly followed. Power after dark means they can trade into the evening. People gather to talk, eat and buy goods. And the cost of a power connection is reasonable starting from about two dollars a month. Husk Power Systems also helps local people get the skills they need to run the power plants and earn higher incomes. We have a very extensive training program which basically takes people from these rural areas, unskilled people, sometimes with very marginal or even no education at all, and converts them into skilled or semi-skilled workers. And there are other benefits. The waste from the gasifier is a black ash, which these women use to make incense sticks. 
Before the plant, my husband was the breadwinner. Now I contribute to the household, and that makes me happy. My husband used to buy my clothes, but now I buy my own. Our future plans are to take our approach worldwide, and by 2014, we plan to have 2014 decentralized generation and distribution systems worldwide. Before electricity, we didn't know which century we were living in, but now we feel part of the modern era.